GBS or Guillain-Barre syndrome or more correctly pronounced as Guillain-Barre syndrome is an outbreak in many states in India. Hi guys, this is Dr. Akshay. I am a resident oncologist and in this video we are going to discuss GBS or Guillain-Barre syndrome and the condition is so serious that more than 25% of the patients affected land up on ventilators because of respiratory paralysis. So basically GBS is a post-infection demyelinating autoimmune neuropathy. What does this mean? Post-infection means there is always or more than 80% of the time a history of infection four to six weeks prior to the development of GBS. Demyelinating means destruction of the myelin sheath which surrounds the nerve cells and which is very important for the conduction of nerve signals. Most of the viral infections including COVID-19 can cause GBS but the most important pathogen is Campylobacter jejuni which is commonly found in the uncooked meat and another common source is contaminated surface water with the fecal matter of the poultry and cattle. Now as GBS is an ascending neuropathy, the most common neuropathological symptoms are found in the hands and feet which includes tingling, numbness, weakness in the small muscles of the hand and it ascends upwards until the respiratory muscles which it involves and the patient may land up with respiratory paralysis and eventually on ventilator. Now till date there is no definitive cure of this disease but procedures like IV immunoglobulins and plasma pheresis may help a lot. Plasma pheresis basically means exchanging your body's plasma with a new one. Why? Because the existing plasma is having the antibodies against the myelin sheath and those antibodies are eating up the myelin sheath. So we remove the existing plasma and replace it with the new one. That is plasma pheresis. Now there are a few protective and preventive measures we can keep in mind. Avoid drinking surface waters. Cook your chicken and meat very properly, very thoroughly. Avoid going to the crowded places to eliminate or reduce the chances of viral infections. And the most important one is to seek early medical attention with a doctor as soon as you notice peripheral neuropathical symptoms because early medical intervention can significantly prevent respiratory paralysis. 